A reading from the Gospel of Matthew. When the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the angels with him, then he will sit on the throne of his glory. All the nations will be gathered before him and he will separate people one from another as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. And he will put the sheep at his right hand and the goats at the left. Then the king will say to those at his right hand, Come, you that are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger and you welcomed me. I was naked and you gave me clothing. I was sick and you took care of me. I was in prison and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when was it that we saw you hungry and gave you food, or thirsty and gave you something to drink? And when was it that we saw you a stranger and welcomed you, or naked and gave you clothing? And when was it that we saw you sick or in prison and visited you? And the king will answer them, Truly I tell you, just as you did it to one of the least of these who are members of my family, you did it to me. Well, then, in our society, we often think that it's to our advantage to get to know or to get to draw close to people of status. We think that um, by getting to know such a person that somehow this will benefit us at some point. And yet, in today's gospel, Jesus encourages us to do just the opposite. Instead of seeking out the individual who has something to give us, he encourages us instead to seek out those who are in need, in need of something that we can give them. The people who are often cast aside in our society, these are the people Jesus wants us to be drawn to. And in this encouragement, I think that Jesus is trying to help us to see that he has called us to be a help and a blessing to those around us. Not necessarily so to those who don't need us and may give us a boost up in status somehow, but those who need to know his love. We are to be the harbingers who bring the reminder that Jesus is present and Jesus loves them and he knows what they're struggling with and what they're going through. And so our task becomes not puffing up ourselves to show that we are connected to um, whomever has the most material things or the most status. We are to show that we are Jesus, that we are followers of Jesus through doing the work that he called us to do. And he asks us to pay attention to the least of us. Amen.